Hi, welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the PhD admission notification from one of the I mean, government uh, university. So it will be the wonderful opportunity to the candidates who are looking for the PhD with the financial assistantship, that means a fellowship. Even though if you are having only post graduation also, it will be the wonderful opportunity. So without having UGSN at JRF, you can get the fellowship amount. Okay. So here the multiple fellowship schemes are there. So out of the different, here I mentioned like 38,750 rupees per month you are going to get for first and second year and 43,750 rupees per month you are going to get for the third, fourth and fifth years of the PhD. So share this video link to your friends or colleagues who are looking for this type of PhD admission notification. It will be definitely helpful to them. And after watching this video, if your requirement is not there, then mention your requirement in the comment section. If I got the recruitment notification which is matching up with your uh, requirement, then definitely I will come up in the next video. So to get my next video as a notification, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. And watch this video until the end to get the complete details regarding this PhD admission notification with fellowship with only PG in the government college. And now while coming to the present content of this video, it is official website of Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development. So it is it comes under the Institute of National Importance College that is INI. So under the INI, IATs, IASC and NITs and this college is also there. So it's a wonderful college and uh, if you scroll down in the announcement section, you will find out the PhD admission notification for 23 to 24. So just click on this one and then you will be directed to this web page. And here it is mentioned like the PhD admission notification as well as uh, Corrigandum is also given under the Visheshara PhD scheme. And if you want to apply online, then here the online application link is also there. So while filling up of the online application form, if you're having any some technical issues are there, then here the contact number as well as the mail IDs are also provided. So with the help of both these two, you can resolve your technical issues. So first let's have a look at the admission notification in detail and then we'll go about the financial assistantship and all. So here the full time as well as a part time for the PhD admission 23 to 24. Coming to the eligibility either PG or the MPhil candidates with at least a 55 percentage marks must be there. And uh, out of the 55 a relaxation of 5 percentage of marks is available to the candidates who belongs to SCST, OBC, non cream layer and the different labeled. And here the eligibility criteria and the different PhD programs are also given in this table. So the first one is Applied Psychology, either Masters or the MPhil in this uh, Psychology or Applied Psychology or Counseling or the Clinical and other branches of Psychology. And the next one is Computer Science with Specialization in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Cyber uh, Security and the Data Science. So either Masters degree or else the MPhil in the Computer Science or Information Technology or Computer Application or Allied Subjects. Next one is Development Studies, so Masters degree in the Social Sciences. English, master's degree in the English or else a master's degree in the relevant uh, discipline of the English. Next coming to the public administration, so master's or MPhil in the public administration or political science or development administration, local governance, public policy, uh, international relations, peace studies, defense and strategic studies, law or legal studies, women studies, gender studies, human rights, disaster management, environmental management, climate change and development studies and coming to the social work. So masters or the MPhil in social work and next one is sociology. So masters or the MPhil in sociology or else the related subjects like anthropology, development studies, public administration, social work, history, political science, philosophy and interdisciplinary studies and PhD programs either full time or part time and place of offerings are given here. So you may check down. So which departments or comes under which campus. Okay, total here the two different campuses are there. One is a Tamil Nadu and another one is Chandigarh. So either full time is available or part time is available. So that one also mentioned here in this table. So interested candidates may check down. And uh, the candidates who are having the UGS net JRF. Okay. Those candidates are exempted from writing the written test. Those candidates can directly attend the uh, interview. Okay. Directly they can go for the interview. But my suggestion is that UGC net JRF candidates can apply for the other IAC or the uh, IIT colleges. Why? Because you are going to get the wonderful a uh, fellowship up to 37,000 rupees per month. So utilize that opportunity. So UGC JRF candidates, I don't suggest this uh, university guys. Okay. So coming to the PhD entrance test uh, is on 24th September 2023. And uh, students who have secured the 50 percentage marks in the entrance test, those candidates will be called for the interview. And out of the 50 percentage, there's a 5 percentage relaxation in the entrance uh, test for the SCST, OBC, uh, differently able candidates and the economically weaker sections. And 70 percentage from your uh, weightage from your uh, entrance test and 30 percentage from the performance in the interview. So based upon both these two, they are going to shortlist you guys. 
and the PhD through the part time, the candidates is permitted to pursue the studies on the part time basis. So, if required, the candidate must uh, attend the uh, coursework in the in the college itself. Okay. So, these are all the details, and here the as per the cast categories, the number of vacancies are mentioned here. Examination centers total three centers are given: Tamil Nadu, Chandigarh, and uh, some. Okay, and coming to the PhD interviews. If you belongs to de development studies and public administration, those guys has to go to the Chandigarh for the interview, and all other departments has to go for the Tamil Nadu. Go to the Tamil Nadu for interview. Coming to the important date, so 18th August it started, and the last date of application is 11th September, and the date of entrance test is 24th September. So entrance test is having total 60 MCQs will be there. Out of the 60, 30 will be for the research methodology, and remaining 30 for the concerned subjects and all. So fellowship details. If you are non-JRF, that means uh, if you don't have the JRF and all, then but even though if you clear the entrance test and the interview, and finally if you shortlisted for the full-time PhD, then they are going to give the thirteen uh, thousand rupees per month as an institute fellowship and twenty-four thousand rupees per annum for the contingency purpose. And this uh, fellowship amount you are going to get uh, up to three years. And the fee structure is also given here individually for the social science disciplines and the science uh, disciplines. So the, I mean you may check down. And whoever the interested candidates are there, so in the official website of this Rajiv Gandhi, uh, you will find out the online application link here. And if you want to check about the curriculum related to the Vishweshwaraya PhD Fellowship Scheme, so under this scheme, total three different vacancies are available from these departments only. So if you belongs to cyber security or A and ML or the data science, then they will provide the Uh, under I mean they may take under Vishesh Ray PhD Fellowship Scheme so total three seats are there and under this fellowship uh, scheme you are having the multiple benefits like thirty eight seven fifty rupees per month plus R O R also you are going to get for first second and for first and second year and forty three thousand seven fifty rupees per month will be available for the rest of the three years plus R O R also will be included and apart from this one the research contingency one lakh twenty thousand rupees per year you are going to get up to five years. And the, to attend the international conference and all, up to five years, you are going to get the one lakh fifty thousand rupees. And you can visit the abroad uh, laboratories also. So for visiting the abroad laboratories, up to six months, they will provide the fellowship also. So these are all the details, guys. And if you are having any queries, then here the mail ID is also provided for this uh, Vishesh Ray PhD Fellowship Scheme. Interested candidates may approach this one. So it is a complete uh, notification, guys. So I mean, whoever the candidates wants to apply, then you just have once look here. Anyhow, I will show you the online application uh, portal or the uh, web page also. So once if you enter into the online application portal, then it is a web page, guys. It just looks like this, and you have to first register here. So click on the new registration. Uh, in this one, you have to fill up your uh, details, okay, like your email ID or else whatever the password you want to set and everything. So applicant's full name, date of birth, applicant's email, okay, password. Mobile number and everything, and then click on the register. Then automatically you guys will be registered. Once after registering, then you have to log in. Click click on the login and then fill up your. Uh, I mean, if you click on the login, then you will be directed to the uh, username as well as the registered uh, email ID and the password. So with the help of both these two, you can log in and start filling up of the online application form. Okay. So these are all the details, guys. Complete details. So to get the more notifications like this, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. Thank you very much. All the best to the applicants.